good morning guys welcome back to my youtube channel we are back home now i'm honestly just so not ready to be home no i am i'm ready to be home but we honestly could have spent so much longer in whistler it was just the best it's so beautiful there and i feel like we literally didn't even scratch the surface so um i'm definitely excited to go back at some point hopefully early next year again i feel like that would be really nice um but yeah we had the best time it was incredible and it's just so beautiful there and i think because we were away with family it felt super homey and there was just no like rush or desire to come back you know how usually when you go on holidays you're just like part of you doesn't want it to end but part of you is really excited to get back home and get stuck into things i feel like this is the first holiday where i definitely didn't feel that like i could have easily been there for longer it's just so beautiful over there and yeah we had a really good time but in saying that it does feel super weird um like it felt really weird while i was away seeing everyone posting about their like 2023 goals and like doing all their manifestation and mood boards and whatever and being overseas i've never been like overseas that early on in the year so that felt a little bit weird and obviously we moved then there was christmas then we were away so there wasn't really any time to do it like prior to the new year so i am excited in that aspect to be home now so that i can do some planning for the year get stuck into things and yeah there's lots of exciting things on this year so i'm really keen to have a visual for all of that plus have some additional goals on there as well because jake and i actually very naughty of us we always usually do a mood board but for the past two years we actually haven't and I'm actually so annoyed at myself thinking back on it because the reason we didn't is because we launched both of our businesses so we launched Cali Swim and we also launched Sweats before that um, and uh, as you can probably imagine or if you own your own business you just don't know which way it's going to do and fortunately it's done really amazingly but you are also putting all of your money back into the business so that's your main priority um especially in the early days whereas now that things have settled a little bit we sort of can predict um you know all the finances and whatnot and have some other goals beyond our business goals so i'm really excited to do a mood board and have some like saving goals and also um some travel goals as well because i would well jake and i would both love to see more of the world i just love traveling it's so much fun and i love just seeing different places in the world seeing literally like what trees they have like anything i just love traveling so that is a huge goal of ours this year and every year that we had done a mood board we'd actually completed like i know everyone says this but honestly if you do a mood board the things will actually happen and every other year that we've done one the things that were on the mood board had happened within a few months and we haven't done it in two years and this is why i'm mad at myself because i'm like we should have just still done it because obviously we have accomplished a lot with the business but nothing outside of that really like there is still a lot we've accomplished but no bigger goals i suppose that we would have liked to have accomplished there's still like heaps i feel like i'm sounding a little bit ungrateful but you can definitely accomplish more if you have a mood board that you're looking at regularly and you have those very clear goals that you're working towards so that is the plan for at some point this week not for this vlog but at some point this week this vlog is actually just about getting back on track um because i'm always getting asked about what i do to get back on track um i also get asked a lot about what i do in terms of like training and eating while overseas that's always a really big question so i thought i would quickly dabble in that for a second before i get into everything else but basically when we're away on holidays it sort of just depends on the holiday depends what we're up to depends on your own personal holiday and what that looks like for you um this holiday we actually didn't train once which i had planned on training but honestly we were just like out and about every single day like henry and alana are very much like us we're all very active we love doing things you know sometimes like some like friends or couples or whatever just like want to chill like all day um that is not us we were up every single morning at like eight which is quite early for new york um and just 
heading out for the day doing things and then we weren't getting back until like 9 30 at night which is late for us um but during that time like in the morning usually i'd obviously train but i had to get ready and stuff because i was getting content or vlogging or wanted to look cute or whatever and then at night time we had heaps of work to catch up on so yeah there wasn't really so we weren't going to bed till later so yeah there wasn't really time for any of that um like you can always make time but you're on holidays so and also we were walking so much like whenever we go to new york we just walk everywhere get our steps in we love walking so yeah we we're doing like twenty thousand steps a day so that's good and then in terms of eating we're on holidays um but obviously try and balance it out a little bit sometimes we'd get like salad bowls or we just get ice long blacks instead of milky coffees or we'd just have like two bigger meals that day instead of like three big meals and snacks in between sort of just that just depends on what you want to do um and then in whistler jake and i were actually really sick so we actually like not really sick but we just had a pretty bad cold so we were just like masking that cold by smashing cold and flu um so we were having that every day like i'd literally wake up look in the mirror and i'll be like oh my god like i feel like shit like i just looked no good felt no good um and i would just have some cold and flu an hour later i was good to go and you wouldn't even know a thing so i was just sort of putting a band-aid over that um but obviously i wanted to rest so we were getting lots of sleep and yeah we were out and about and obviously skiing and snowboarding and stuff so that's a form of exercise as well so yeah it's totally up to you but that's just what we sort of did and you're on holidays so do whatever you want to do and just remember you can exercise when you get home or you can eat good when you get home so enjoy yourself also before i continue on with this video i have been in the sun the past few days and i literally burnt my lips since being home the weather has been amazing um but if you can see them like cracking it's not cute and that is from them getting burnt which is really annoying and also my makeup i used a different foundation today and i'm not really into it i personally prefer a lighter foundation to my skin just slightly and then if i want to like darken it up i'll do that with like bronzer and stuff so yeah i don't know i don't really like my makeup today but i also can't be able to take it off or redo it so we're just rolling with it but yeah if you're behind on the start of the year, it's okay. So am I. We're about to get stuck into things. I thought I would run you guys through what I usually do when I'm getting back into things. So let's do it. So for me, getting back on track is just about jumping straight back into my exact usual routine. I don't add anything. I don't cut anything. I just jump straight back into things. If I'm trying to overcompensate it's just not gonna work like i just need to get straight back into my regular programming and then i'm good and that starts with the night before so my biggest thing is going to bed early a lot of you are like how you get up early especially considering i don't have to be up early like i work my own hours or whatever so some people would use that as an excuse to get up late but not me i'm a morning person i'm so much more productive in the mornings and my biggest tip to waking up early is just going to bed on time. If you go to bed at, let's just say, 8.30 at night, you are way more likely to wake up earlier just with your like body clock, whatever, um, whether it's your alarm or whatnot. But it'll be so much easier to wake up early if you go to bed early. So I go to bed at 8.30 and I wake up at 4.30. And honestly, I just have the best days when I do that. I just set the tone for the day. I get so much done before anyone else. And it's honestly just the greatest thing ever. So you don't need to get up that early if you don't want to. But it all starts with going to bed on time. Because if you are staying up late, you're going to be so tired the next morning. You're going to struggle to get up. You're going to snooze your alarm. You're going to feel like a sack of shit, basically. Sorry. But, like, you're going to feel not that great. Because you're waking up later and you're slightly disappointed in yourself. You're like, oh, I like, should have gone to bed earlier last night. Wake up late. And then it's just basically a decline from there. No, I'm over-exaggerating, but that's just how I feel. So if I get up early, I'm like, I am getting shit done. Like, I am seizing the day, and I'm really proud of myself. So that's what I do, step one. 
Step two is my regular morning routine. So for me, that is getting my steps in. So I do five kilometers every morning and then I also do a workout, whether that is hustle or workout at the gym downstairs, whatever it may be, get your workout in and then continue on. So yeah, this morning I've done all of those things and it's breakfast time. I'm just making my regular protein smoothie. I have this every single morning. I've been obsessed with it for months now. You guys, if you watch my vlogs regularly, you would have seen me make this a million times, but basically it's just unsweetened almond milk. This one is the Nutty Bruce brand and it's the best or like one of the best ones that I can get my hands on because the ingredients are really minimal. Filtered water, activated organic almonds, organic brown rice, and sea salt. So Jake always gets on my case about having things with like vegetable oil in them or canola oil or what else? Sunflower oil and quite a lot of um, almond milks have all of those things in them. So I just have like about that much. And then I also just have, this is like a bit contradic contradictory, is that a word? I'm not sure. Because I do have the Naked Harvest protein powder, which has like no added sweeteners or anything. And I know that this is a sweetener, but it just makes it taste so much better. So I just have a cap full of sugar-free maple syrup. There's probably bloody something in here too that I'm not allowed. Jake's always on my case. Mm, I feel like that looks fine. But I just don't care as much as he does. And then we also have Naked Harvest. I'm trying out this one. I actually haven't had it like prior to right now. But I actually really like it. It's quite good. I usually have like the... Um, what one do I usually have? The vanilla like pancake batter one. And that one's really good. So, loving this. Also, I saw that Talia does this, and I just think it's bloody genius. She puts this, like, like this is what you're supposed to do, like that. And I don't know why I haven't done that before. And then just add whatever fruit you want. I'm just doing frozen mixed berries. I also have this one particular cup that if I use it, I think I've already told you guys this as well. I honestly can't remember. Um, it just makes it the right consistency. Oh, I hate it when there's too many strawberries because I feel like the strawberries make it really sour for some reason. Hmm. Just rotate those through. Beautiful. See how if I use that one specific cup, the consistency is just perfect. Love that. And then in we go. I don't want to spill it. I honestly usually just drink it from the blender. But for aesthetic purposes, we're putting it in this cute glass. I'm always getting asked where these glasses are from. And they are from Amazon. I will link them below for you guys. Mmm. So good. I have to try this flavor. It's actually really good. I think I actually prefer it over the um, vanilla one. It's the strawberries and cream. It just goes so perfectly with the frozen mixed berries. And it's just so fresh. And just... It's just perfect. Like perfect for summer. Perfect on a hot day. Perfect on a cold day. I'm just obsessed with it. And it tastes so bloody good. Mm, 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 mm. I'm actually obsessed. As always, I have a code for Naked Harvest. If you guys want to use Ali15 at the checkout, you can save 15% off site-wide, excluding collaborations, I believe. But I will link this down below. I'll also link all of the other products I use as well because I also use their pre-workout. I've been having the blue lemonade one and it's really good, but my all-time favorite is the Coca-Cola one. I know it seems like a bit weird, but I'm obsessed with Coca-Cola at the moment and it's really, really yum. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I love this flavor. It's really my go-to at the moment in the protein powder. I haven't had it by itself before. I'm just not like a protein powder on its own kind of gal. I love making smoothies. Um, so 
yeah there's that one and then i've also been having the collagen powder with water in the morning that one's really good just the natural one and the greens powder love that i'll probably have that this afternoon actually i usually either have it in the morning or the afternoon but usually in the afternoon lately just because i'm having a smoothie for breakfast so it's like double liquid which is like fine but i just like it in the afternoon when i'm working or something because i'll just like have it while i'm sat on my laptop working and just sip on it it's obviously a really great way to get your greens in and then i also love the mug cakes they're amazing so fucking good i'm obsessed with those so good with either like coconut yogurt or ice cream so yeah i'll actually just show you guys the other products that i love from them so obviously love the mug cakes i have a stockpile happening here because literally running out or not having one on hand would be the worst thing in my life right now so have a little stockpile so i don't run low i also haven't tried this one yet it's part of their lolly collection but apparently it's really good so i'll give this one a try once i finish my strawberries and cream one i also um have been having collagen in water Every day, the girls were telling me I need to get onto that because I'm really bad with it. So this one here is just like the natural one, pure collagen. And I just whiz that up with some water. Um, sometimes I'll even put it in with my greens powder. And the whizzer I use is just from Naked Harvest as well. I always get asked about that. This is the greens powder that I love. The gorgeous greens in the Mango Magic. Is that what it's called? Yeah, Mango Magic. Love that one. Um, but apparently this one's really good too, so I'll use this one next because I'm almost out of my other one anyway. Also out of my Coca-Cola one, so I've been having this one. Blueberry lemonade. I thought it was actually called blue lemonade, but blueberry. So yeah, that's everything that I have from Naked Harvest. I also have these, but I actually am so bad with having BCAAs. I used to be so good with having them and I'd have them all the time, but now I just, honestly, I just forget. So I haven't done that yet. Now is definitely the perfect time to stock up on all of your supplements just to help you with your health and fitness goals. They're definitely not a necessity, but they are really helpful in supplementing your current diet. So obviously protein powder, couldn't recommend that enough. If you need to increase your protein, great way to do it. Also just a great um, tool to use for either your breakfast or um you know meals on the go or even in baking it's really good as well that's probably my number one and then maybe like your collagen and greens powders they're both great obviously we want to have great amazing skin so collagen is great for that hair growth nails everything like that as well and then greens it's just such an easy way to get in all of those extra nutrients so those would be my top three picks i know pre-workout isn't a necessity it is for me um but a lot of people don't like or don't need pre-workout so Probably not so much that one or the BCAAs, but the other three, amazing. And then, yeah, the mug cakes or the desserts are really good as well if you have a sweet tooth like me. But if you don't, not a necessity. I ordered quite a few things on Amazon before we actually went away and I've been dying to unbox them. So now is the time. Some of it is kitchenware and then some of it is, I think I got like a few like really random beauty products, but... Oh, I'm so excited. That one I actually already opened, but I'm going to open them and I'll show you guys what I got. We'll start with this one because it's probably the least exciting, but I got some jumbo hair rollers. I've got some black ones, but they're not big enough for that straighter blowout look. I hate that these are purple. Purple's probably my least favorite color. Actually, maybe orange. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, maybe orange and then purple. I don't know. This remind me of um, Scooby-Doo, but which is weird because I actually love the movie Scooby-Doo, but anyways... They're purple, so I'm just going to have to deal with that. At least I'll get the job done. I was trying to look for some black ones, but I couldn't find them anywhere. I also got... What is this? Oh, yeah. It's like a cute little shot glass. I'll get that out and show you guys. I also got some, like, the rosemary oil for my hair that you guys would have seen all over TikTok. Because I really want to try that out and see what it's like. I also got the Jumbo NYX stick, the white eyeliner pencil that has been all over TikTok as well. So I'm going to give that a try. And then I was wanting these for so long. It's like the little ball ice cube trays. And I finally caved and got them. My number one purchase that I would like to make for the apartment is a new fridge. Because our fridge doesn't have like the filtered water or ice option. But I guess I'm just going to make the most of it for now. Seeing as I have to make ice anyway and make some fun 
little shapes. Absolute chaos has just unfolded here, but I'll show you guys what I got. So I got a new like saucepan set and frying pan set because I don't know about you guys, but Jake literally destroys every single frying pan we get within like months because he just cooks things on too high of a setting and it honestly does my head in. So moving forward, he's going to have his own and I'm going to have my really cute aesthetic ones. So I got these, um, they were literally like $89 for the whole packet of them. This thing here like clicks to the edge and then I think go like that. Yeah, and then you have your frying pan. Really good for storage as well. Um, but yeah, I think they're super cute and I love the color of them. And hopefully I don't ruin these ones. I've heard really good things about them as well. That doesn't go on there. Whoops, that goes over there. I also got this knife set because we had the black one, um, just like a Kmart one for so long now. And I wanted to get some extra knives and I thought this one was really pretty. So it's got the wood and the gold, except I'm going to have to contact them because they gave me two of this knife and it doesn't fit in this slot here, obviously. So I'm going to need them to send me out one. So these are like, that's a small one. That one's slightly longer, but then this one like absolutely doesn't fit there. And then this one here is the same so i think they've accidentally sent two of these instead of three like the third one for there because that one i don't think that'll fit will it yeah see that doesn't fit and then that back one there's like a really fat big one and then these are just like steak knives but i do really like the like the colors of it and everything so excited to put that in its new home and then over here, I just got a bunch of new Tupperware containers. This one was, I think it was $75 for a pack of 12, which is really good. These are all glass as well. I just prefer the glass because obviously reheating things in plastic um, is really bad for you. So yeah, I got the glass ones. It's funny that this was only $75 for 12 because I remember buying two from Maya ages ago, like two glass containers from Maya. And that alone was like 30 or 40 dollars so the fact i've got 12 for 75 is amazing and we honestly just have so many mismatched um containers so i'm excited to swap them all over for these ones and there's so many different sizes as well so i'll link all of this below from you guys i just got it all off of amazon i also found this hiding in the bottom too and it's the pens we use they're really good they're like a ballpoint pen and they're really nice to write with so I got those two but yeah sticking out like that. Hmm. Hmm. Show you guys closer. What do you think? Yes or no? Keep the black or this one? Like, I just wish it was like flush. I don't know how I feel. Hey guys. <laughs> Um, what am I doing? Sorry. These are my new pots that you're not allowed to touch, okay? You've been warned. Oh, what? I know. No, no, no. Not happening. Okay, butter. Um, what else do I need? Garlic. One for you. Did you get lots of work done? Uh, yeah. Did Ethan head off? Yeah.
safe to say I've outdone myself here. This is so good. The chicken actually turned out so juicy. I'm not sure if you guys can see. Literally reminds me of Nando's chicken. I just used some olive oil and shaker fry seasoning, the one I always use. And then I just made like a garlic, butter, parsley, rice. Super yummy. Just have some guac in there as well. Um, a little bit of lime and coriander on top. And then this is Pico di Gallo. Is that how you say it? Added a little bit too many jalapenos into it though. So definitely go light. <laughs> definitely go light on the jalapenos. Um, she's going to be spicy. But this looks so delicious. And I'm very excited to jump into this. Obviously I have protein from the chicken. Carbs from the rice. And what else was there? Healthy fats from the other. In images, so it's really easy to understand. Like, you can look at it and be like, oh, okay. Mm, that <clears throat> was arguably one of the best meals I've ever made. That was delicious. So, I actually did end up changing the rice a little bit. I tested it um, still, like, while it was still cooking, and it was lacking some salt. So, I added salt, and I also added a little bit of, like, chicken salt as well. Added that, smashed it, also added a little bit more garlic as well. So good. So taste as you go with that one. And then what else did I change slightly? I think that was it. Oh, just how I cooked the chicken as well. Made it 10 out of 10. That is definitely the best chicken I've ever cooked in my life. Um, so it was just one whole chicken breast. I just cut it into three pieces. So like the side bit and then where the main chunk is, I just sliced that in half, cooked that in the shaker fry seasoning on either side and then sliced it up and it was literally cooked to perfection so juicy and delicious so i will absolutely be making that again i actually have leftovers of like the salsa and stuff um and the chicken obviously so i'll have that tomorrow for lunch but that was so yum would absolutely recommend making that I'm feeling a little bit guilty. I've literally been doing this all afternoon. There's so many other things that I need to be doing work-wise, but I feel like until this is done and it's off my mind, I can't get into the rest of my work. Basically, the girls and I are going to Europe for two weeks over the summertime. Um, hopefully, I'm meeting Jake for the rest of the trip. I want to be there for four or five weeks, ideally. But yeah, two weeks with the girls, and then we'll part ways and do the rest with our boyfriends. But so far, we're doing Positano, Capri, I don't know how to pronounce that one. Um, and then Mykonos, finishing up there because it's quite the party scene and it'll be a good way to part ways and end the trip. Um, but if you guys have any recommendations, more so, basically I've just been gathering all of the accommodation recommendations because um, we're having like a team meeting later in the week and we all had to, like our homework was to get links to recommendations on where to stay. So I've done that. It was actually quite hard. I feel like there's really not that much. Everything's like sort of booked out already and it's just hard finding someone that's like in a good location, has good ratings and is reasonably priced as well and suits everyone. Um, 
but yeah if you guys have any recommendations more so in terms of like beaches to visit and restaurants let me know i have a bit of a list going already but i would love to know um your thoughts or any tips or tricks that you have from traveling overseas like i've been watching heaps of tiktoks on people's tips and i just find them so helpful so yeah i would love to know i'm also just having my greens powder it's honestly just so handy to sip on while I'm getting this done, I need to email all of this to the girls. Basically, I've done a little mood board for each location of suggestions. And then I also have like a bit of a list going um, in terms of like what to do. currently boiling sorry you guys can't see me they're currently boiling just with some salt and a little bit of what's it called a little bit of bicarb soda because i'm going to make crispy chat potatoes i always forget how easy they are to make because i feel like i overcomplicate things sometimes when i'm trying to make it really fancy but you can do it really simply as well so yeah just water salt bicarb soda and then i totally just remembered Jake's dad got me this for Christmas and I haven't opened it yet. It's just a bunch of um, seasonings because all of my old ones are like a bit run out and like a bit old. You have to kind of get new ones of these quite regularly. So this is obviously the best Christmas present ever and it'll be such a good cheap way to make the, um, the coating for the crispy chat potatoes because Usually I would always like in a frying pan melt the butter and put in fresh rosemary or whatever it may be. But we're not doing that this time. We're just going to use some olive oil and some of these seasonings. So we have in here. Ooh, what do we have? We have paprika, cinnamon. I love that these will all be matching now too. Cumin, chili flakes, turmeric, and um, what else? Chicken flavored salt, yum. Garlic salt, also yum. Coriander leaves, also yum. Ginger ground, perfect. Nutmeg. Ooh, keen to use that in some things like pancakes or muffins, parsley, oregano, two oregano, it's handy, basil, and rosemary. So I'm just going to use these and olive oil for my mixture. Just cheat my way out of it. You know you're an adult when this shit excites you. The potatoes are done. I've just drained them and then shaken them up so that they're rough around the sides. And I've just added in some olive oil, rosemary, chili flakes, and a heap of salt and pepper as well. So I'm just going to give this a mix and then I'll cook them in the oven for around 30 minutes. I sort of just keep my eye on them until they're as crispy as I would like, but the longer the better. I just realized I had the parsley out, but I actually used rosemary. Sorry about that. I had a few out because I wasn't sure which one I was wanting to use. This is dinner all done. So I just have some uh, organic beef mints on top just with some taco seasoning super quick and easy obviously i have the crispy chat potatoes and then i've just topped it with some light sour cream a little bit of peri peri nays and some spring onion i probably could have done a few more bits of potato or like a bigger potato but it's all right i feel like this with like a cheese sauce would actually be really yum as well that just requires more effort than i'm willing to give there why are you so obsessed with me Rumi's literally obsessed with me. Look at how he loves it on me. Hello. Rumi's literally obsessed with kisses. He comes up on my chest every time I get into bed and demands at least 100. So he's already got his 100. He's just wanting more. And then Milo is just down there chilling. Just gonna watch my favorite, Yellowstone. I'm obsessed with Yellowstone the best except for I'm up to the last season and it makes me really really sad because I don't want it to end anyway I'm gonna wrap up this video 
now but like you guys have seen throughout the day when i'm getting back on track as such it just means i'm getting back to my regular programming my regular eating i'm not restrictive in any way i don't cut down on anything i feel like if i would do that in the past i've always been pretty good but yeah if you're too restrictive then you're just going to crave all those foods you have a higher chance of binging on those foods um and eating a lot more of them <laughs> he's so cute um so yeah don't restrict anything all in moderation and yeah I love you. you're distracting mommy yeah distracting me <laughs>